Moved to the city and I broke down by and Two years, no job. Four years, no job. No. I don't know. But like, it is so hot. In my room, it's so hot outside. I'm literally wearing jeans. I hate my life. Hey guys, it's Haley, and today I'm doing the Ride or Die makeup tag that Jaclyn Hill created, um, like, literally yesterday. Um, I thought I'd sit down and do it because makeup is the love of my life, and I thought I'd share it with you. Most of my products, I kid you not, are drugstore, because I'm, like, in high school, so. So, we're just gonna jump into it. Um, first is primer. My ride or die primer is the L'Oreal Magic Lumi Light Infusing Primer. This is my second tube of it. It's literally almost gone. I have it on today. It just gives you this, like, dew. And you don't really notice it, but then when you use a different primer, you'll be able to tell in your skin that it's not as, like, um, dewy. Foundation, and I've talked about this foundation on my channel before. It is the CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous Foundation. I have two. I have one for when I'm tan, which I have in Soft Honey, and one for when I'm Pale AF, like right now. In Classic Ivory, this is the lightest color they have, 105. Um, this is a really big difference, 105 to 220. Um, spray tan is really literally seven dollars. Um, it's the most easy to blend. It's not full coverage. It's like a medium coverage, but you can build it up. I'm not wearing it today. But, like, I'm wearing it in, like, 90% of my videos, so. Concealer, and this concealer I haven't really ever mentioned on my channel, but it's the Rimmel Match Perfection 2-in-1 um, Conceal and Highlight. I have it in fair because I'm, like, the palest little chica you could find. But this is so lightweight and easy to blend. And yeah, it covers up your under eye circles. It doesn't come with much. You only get 0.2 fluid ounces, but it's like literally $4, I think. So you like, it's not going to break the bank. It's, I just love it. If you guys like this setup, give this video a thumbs up because <laughs> I'm digging it. Next is face powder. It's another CoverGirl product. It's the CoverGirl Clean Powder. And this stuff smells so bad. I don't know what it smells like, but I hate it. Um, I have this one in 105 Ivory. Thanks, Chuck. I have, like, this road right outside my window. And it's, like, the most annoying thing ever. So, I have it in Ivory. I never wear face powder, but if I do, like, if the foundation's just way too sticky and I can't put bronzer over it or anything, I'll use this. It doesn't dry out my face. Gives me a little extra coverage. Of course, I can't use this when I'm tan, but... If I this is under eye setting powder, and I know a lot of people, like, I'm in this group on Facebook for makeup because, like, it's the love of my life. And I know, like, everybody on there was talking about this, the Airspun Loose Face Powder. Oh my god, this shit is so hard to find. And it's not because it's sold out everywhere, it's because it's usually by the nail polish, like, on the bottom shelf. And I don't know why, but that's just how it is. Um, but I really like this. It doesn't dry out my under eyes. I like applying it with a damp beauty sponge. I use my beauty blender and I just take the littlest amount and put it under my eyes. My under eyes won't crease. It doesn't emphasize any dry under eye lines. And this is literally the only thing I've used to set my under eyes. Like, I haven't used anything since I bought this. This is blush. And this is like a really weird blush. And it's like nobody talks about it. It's the NYC Color Wheel Mosaic Face Powder. It's in the color Pink Cheek Glow. I know. I love... I don't even think it's going to swatch as well as it applies. Yeah, well. It's not, like, super pigmented. But it's just the prettiest pink on your cheeks. And I'm, like, in love with it. And it's literally $3. I got this, and I don't know why I bought it. I just saw it, and I was like, I have money. I think this would be cool. So I bought it, and it kills me. My dogs are barking. Oh, no, I just got it on my pants. My Ride or Die bronzer is MAC Give Me a Sun. Um, I don't use it all the time, and I especially don't use this in the winter. 
but like summer and like spring and when I'm feeling like a hella warm tone I'll like smother myself in this but you can if you're super peri if you're super pale you can't use a lot of this because then it'll get really muddy really quickly which I've learned the very hard way you have to have a really light hand with this if your tan like will literally go so ham it will never like mud up on you um if you guys haven't watched any of my current tutorials I think I use this in every single video so yeah go check those out favorite highlight ride or die I know is always gonna work always gonna look good on me is from that glow glow kit by Anastasia Beverly Hills in it's bubbly just bubbly this is like the only highlight I've used out of this actually I've used like these two as eyeshadow before and I've like maybe used this a couple times but this one mm, it kills me it's like a bronzy yellow and it's not champagne which, like, I really like champagne pop, but I don't want a champagne highlight all the time. And I wish I was wearing it right now. I'm wearing Prosecco Pop by Jaclyn Hill. <laughs> I thought it was only fitting. All-time favorite mascara is, like, is the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara. Right now, I'm using Smashbox X-Ray, which I do like. But this one, like, literally is the only one that'll make my eyelashes look like I'm not, like, half dead. And I can always go back to this. And I now I have lipstick, liquid lip, and gloss. So we'll start off with lipstick, my all-time favorite lipstick, which I never get to wear. But it's just ever since okay, my sister bought this like two years ago. We went to a concert. And then like I finally got around to buying it. It's the Maybelline matte lipstick in it faint for fuchsia. And this is just the prettiest lipstick. And I'm like the biggest nude girl, but this first off oh. like look at how pretty that is it has the longevity of a liquid lip it's so comfy like it just feels like wearing like regular lipstick doesn't dry out your lips it's just my favorite and this color this formula this is the only one I have I need to like go buy more of these because they are and I love them. So that's my favorite lipstick of all time. My ride or die. I can't live without it. And then liquid lip is the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in Obby Dobby. Mm, I'm wearing it right now. I have a lipstick on top of it though. It's this nude. It's like, I don't know. It's a neutral nude. It's not like warm toned or cool toned. And it just uh, like look at that it kills, kills me. i'm not swatching my lip gloss though because then my hand will be sticky um but my ride or die lip gloss that i literally wear all the time it's from the cover girl literally everything i own is cover girl it's from the cover girl color licious lip gloss and candy licious and i've talked about this in a favorites video i have like two other ones but i just really like this one because you put it over like a really nude lipstick and it'll have a pink nude and pink nudes like you guys don't understand how <laughs> but yeah this lip gloss it's like doesn't have the longevity it's not that long wearing but it's like glossy and like pretty so it's my favorite i'm literally throwing everything i hate in my life I'm skipping lashes because I don't wear fake lashes because I hate myself and I can never put them on. Favorite eyeshadow palette literally looks so disgusting, but I wear it all the time. And it's the eyeshadow palette, like, I know it's gonna win, I know. Like, I don't even think they sell this anymore. Literally, it's so gross because I think I lost it for a while and it just got gross. But it's the Lorac Day palette. And these colors kill me, and when I run out of all these shadows that I use, I'm just gonna kill myself, okay? Um, I'm using them today on my eyes and underneath. The purple is from a different palette, but blendable buttery eyeshadows I have ever used. I stole it from my sister in like seventh grade, so. The perfume is the Juicy Couture Viva La Juicy. Um, as you can tell, I barely have any left. 
because I'm, I use it because I know a perfume can work. Actually, I actually don't use this every day, but if I'm going to use a perfume, usually I just use my um, pink, fresh, and clean body spray because I just love that. But perfume, if I want it to last all day and I'm like going somewhere like out to dinner or something, I'll use this because it just... Mm. Enjoy my all-time favorite, my ride or die today. I literally said like all-time favorite for everything, but like these are my ride or die products. Like if I had to create a full face, this is the shit I would use. Like if I, when I'm going to homecoming, this shit is gonna get used. Cause I love you guys. I'll see you all whenever I decide to post another video. Give this video a thumbs up and comment down below shit you wanna see. Bye! Moved to the city and I broke down by and two years no job. Four years no job. No. No, no. But like, it is so hot in my room. It's so hot outside. I'm literally wearing jeans. I hate my life. Hey guys, it's Haley and today I'm doing the ride or die makeup tag that Jaclyn Hill created. Um, like, literally yesterday. Um, I thought I'd sit down and do it because makeup is the love of my life and i thought i'd share it with you most of my products i kid you not are drugstore because i'm like in high school so so we're just gonna jump into it um first is primer my ride or die primer is the l'oreal magic lumi light infusing primer this is my second tube of it it's literally almost gone i have it on today it just gives you this like do and you don't really notice it, but then when you use a different primer, you'll be able to tell in your skin that it's not as, like, um, dewy. Foundation, and I've talked about this foundation on my channel before. It is the CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous Foundation. I have two. I have one for when I'm tan, which I have in Soft Honey, and one for when I'm Pale AF, like right now. In Classic Ivory, this is the lightest color. They have 105, um... This is a really big difference, 105 to 220. Um, spray tan is really... Literally $7. Um, it's the most easy to blend. It's not full coverage. It's like a medium coverage. But you can build it up. I'm not wearing it today. But, like, I'm wearing it in, like, 90% of my videos. So, concealer. And this concealer, I haven't really ever mentioned on my channel. But it's the Rimmel Match Perfection. Um... 2-in-1 Conceal and Highlight. I have it in fair because I'm like the palest little chica you could find. But this is so lightweight and easy to blend. And yet it covers up your under eye circles. It doesn't come with much. You only get 